My beloved child, the person I have chosen as your soulmate is a reflection of my love for you. In them, you will find echoes of my grace, glimpses of my wisdom, and shadows of my creativity. I have crafted this soul with meticulous care, shaping their experiences, molding their character, and instilling within them the capacity to love you as I do, unconditionally and without reserve. This soulmate is not merely a random encounter or a product of chance. Their presence in your life is a divine appointment orchestrated by my sovereign hand. Long before you drew your first breath, I foresaw the moment your paths would cross, the instant your eyes would meet, and the gradual unfolding of your shared destiny. If you need God's blessings, and then type, yes I need, in the comments. In choosing this person as your soulmate, I have considered every facet of your being. I know your strengths and your weaknesses, your dreams and your fears, your past wounds and your future triumphs. The one I have selected complements you in ways you have yet to discover. Where you are weak, they are strong. Where you falter, they will steady you. In the areas where you shine, they will celebrate you. And in the moments when you doubt, they will remind you of your true worth in my eyes. This soulmate is not meant to complete you, for you are already complete in me. Rather, they are designed to enhance your journey to walk alongside you as you navigate the path I have laid before you. Together, you will face challenges that will strengthen your bond, celebrate joys that will deepen your love, and experience growth that will expand your understanding of my love for you both. Remember, my child, that this soulmate connection is a gift, but it also requires nurturing. Like a rare and beautiful flower, it must be tended with care, watered with kindness, and protected from the harsh elements of life. I have given you both the capacity for great love, but it is up to you to cultivate it daily. In your soulmate, you will find a mirror of my love for you. Through their eyes, you will catch glimpses of how I see you, treasured, valued, and infinitely precious. Their touch will remind you of my gentle care, their words will echo my encouragement, and their presence will be a constant reminder of my faithfulness to you. As you journey together, you will discover layers of connection that transcend the physical realm. Your souls will resonate in harmony, creating a symphony of love that reflects the very essence of my nature. In moments of quiet intimacy, you will feel the reverberations of eternity, for your union is a small but profound echo of the unity found within the Godhead. Do not be surprised, my beloved, when you encounter challenges in your relationship. Even soulmates must navigate the complexities of human nature and the brokenness of this world. These difficulties are not signs of a mistake, but opportunities for growth, forgiveness, and deeper understanding. Through every trial, I will be with you both, guiding you, strengthening you, and using each experience to refine your love until it shines with the brilliance of pure gold. In choosing this person as your soulmate, I have also entrusted you with a great responsibility. You are to be a steward of their heart, a guardian of their dreams, and a partner in their spiritual journey. Love them as I have loved you sacrificially, patiently, and with unwavering commitment. Forgive as you have been forgiven, extend grace as it has been extended to you, and cherish this precious soul as I cherish you. Remember that your soulmate, though divinely chosen, is still human. They will have flaws, make mistakes, and sometimes fall short of your expectations. In these moments, recall my perfect love for you despite your imperfections, and extend the same grace to your beloved. It is in the space of forgiveness and acceptance that your love will deepen and your bond will strengthen. As you walk this path together, allow your relationship to be a testament to my love. Let others see in your union a reflection of my faithfulness, my joy, and my enduring commitment. Your love story is not just for you alone, but a light to illuminate the world around you, drawing others closer to the source of all love. In the quiet moments of doubt or uncertainty, come to me. I am the author of your love story, the creator of your soulmate, and the sustainer of your bond. When you feel lost, I will guide you. When you feel weak, I will strengthen you. And when you rejoice in the beauty of your connection, I will celebrate with you. This soulmate I have chosen for you is a living, 
breathing reminder of my love. In their laughter, hear my joy. In their embrace, feel my comfort. In their words of affirmation, recognize my voice speaking life and love over you. And in the depths of their eyes, see the reflection of your own soul, cherished and chosen by the creator of the universe. Embrace this gift, my child. Cherish this soulmate. Nurture the love I have planted between you. And always remember that in this earthly union, you are experiencing but a fraction of the depth, breadth, and height of my eternal love for you. Walk in confidence, knowing that this soulmate connection is part of my perfect plan for your life. Trust in my wisdom, for I see the end from the beginning, and I know the plans I have for you, plans to prosper you, to give you hope and a future. This soulmate is an integral part of that future, a co-author in the story of your life. As you journey together, allow your love to be a beacon of hope in a world often darkened by despair. Let your unity be a testament to the power of divine love, a living example of commitment in a culture of fleeting connections. Your relationship has the potential to inspire, to heal, and to point others towards the ultimate source of love, me. Remember, my beloved child, that while this soulmate is a precious gift, your primary relationship is always with me. I am the foundation upon which your love is built, the source from which your affection flows, and the ultimate fulfillment of your heart's deepest longings. As you love each other, always keep your eyes fixed on me, for it is in loving me first that you will find the strength, wisdom, and grace to love each other fully. In the tapestry of your life, this soulmate connection is a vibrant thread, weaving beauty, depth, and meaning into the overall design. Cherish each moment, from the mundane to the extraordinary. Find joy in the simple pleasures of shared laughter, quiet understanding, and unspoken connection. These are the moments that will build a love that can withstand the tests of time and trials of life. As you embark on this journey with your soulmate, know that I am always with you. I rejoice in your joys, comfort you in your sorrows, and guide you through every season. This love story is my gift to you, a tangible expression of my affection, a living parable of my faithfulness, and a foretaste of the eternal communion that awaits you in my presence. Embrace this love, nurture it, and let it transform you. Through your relationship with your soulmate, you will learn more about my nature, experience deeper levels of my grace, and understand more fully the height, depth, and breadth of my love for you. Go forth, my child, into this beautiful journey of soulmate love. Walk in the confidence of my choosing, the assurance of my guidance, and the joy of my blessing. Your story is still unfolding, and I am delighted to watch it blossom, grow, and bear fruit that will last for eternity. Dear valued supporter, your super thanks donations are instrumental in sharing the message of divine truth and enlightenment globally. Together, we're building a brighter future for everyone. Simply press the super thanks button to welcome boundless blessings into your life. My child, I know the depths of your heart, every secret desire, every worry. I recognize what burdens you, what weighs heavily upon your shoulders, but often goes unseen by the world yet never unseen by me. I hear even the softest whispers from your soul, the tears that roll in silent yearning. Yet, even in those very moments of weakness, remember that each falling tear into your ground of trials has a seed in it, which, one day, shall sprout up toward heaven and bloom into many blessings untold. Pain will not last, it shall turn to strength so deep and divine as almost to amaze you. Thus, hold on to hope, for brighter days are ahead. Trust that your hope will not be shaken. Those who have seen your falls and mocked shall soon see you raised and restored by your Heavenly Father. I long to be balm to the soul and to all of its scars. You have been created for something wonderful, and I want to see you find that and live every day passionately, hopefully, and gratefully. Draw near to me, pour out every pain, every care. In me your refuge in these hard times. And as you open up your heart to me, the weight shall grow lighter, and peace shall become as rivers that flow from your very being. Yes, come now, your knees to the ground, and speak with me. 
I never wanted you to go on earth bearing tears. I want to see you laughing, free, following your dreams, loving the process of growth of those dear to you, and appreciating each little wonder life makes. You still have so many smiles to give and so much joy to be brought into being. Always remember, I created you for a reason, and I am with you through it all. Meditate on my love and on the sacrifice that I have made for thee. In no way was it in vain, but that thou should be able to live the abundant life, secure in the knowledge that thou art precious and loved. Look up, brace your heart, and walk out with confidence each new day. My hand stands ready to uphold and lead you. Belief in a future that will be bright and blessed. My love toward you is eternal, and with each of your steps and each breath you take, I am there for you. I am carefully shaping the lines of your life, those visible and, at this moment, invisible to you. Your life is marked with my signature, a signature of love, hope, and renewal. And when the breeze strokes your cheeks, know the warmth of my love, first of all, with a gentle whisper of encouragement into the very fathomless depths of your soul. Know that even while shadows fall upon your way, from me, the light is ever shining beside you, lightening every step ahead. I'm forming your life as a potter forms clay, strengthening your spirit, changing trials into treasures, and adversities into avenues of blessing. Let me be this awesome, sometimes overwhelming world, your sure and abiding refuge and strength. Let me be. I understand the complexities of life that weigh upon you, and though it grieves me to see you struggle, these challenges are designed to fortify your faith and spirit. Even when the circumstances seem bereft of sense, know that a purpose lies behind each trial and a hidden blessing in every tear that falls. For after the rains wash away the sorrows, an arc of a bow spans the sky in all its colors, like some hope and renewal lodged in your heart. My love is an ever-sounding echo, and my light will go with you, lighting the way ahead of you. You are ordained to great works, ordained to witness my miraculous works that I have in store for you. At every new dawn, I give you times full of my loving power because you are dear to me, formed for one beautiful purpose alone. Great is your journey, leading to a land rich in promises, dreams lying in store. Along this path, you will have challenges, but you shall find in that the strength and faith to surmount them. Never fear a lack, for I am always with you, protecting and providing all that you need. Allow not the cares of tomorrow to futilely dim the enjoyment of this day. I am aware of every single one of your hopes and desires, even your fears. I want to take care of you. I only ask, in return, that you trust me. Keep hope within your heart and act at all times in accord with your highest effort, for my love and blessings are ever there to support you. And if at any moment your heart should be darkened by fear or doubt, know that I am ever by your side, ever listening, ever wishing to show you the way. Take hold of faith and you will see the wonders that shall open up before you. Have no doubts at all that you are loved and cared about by me. Now allow me the privilege of directing you, the enrichment of every day you live. Many times all you really need in life is a little bit of patience, a small bit of trust, and just a spark of hope. Indeed, the best sunrise comes after the darkest storm. So take a deep breath and trust in me. You are my dear one, and I am doing nothing but good for you. I love you so much. Just relax, come near to me, go to the shelter of my arms. I know this hasn't been an easy road on which you have traveled or the battles that you have fought, the storms outside your control that have raged on. The strongest amongst us all has a breaking point. I feel your frustration. I hear the turmoil within your soul that cries out for rest and peace. Worry no more. I am right here with you. Come without fear to me and place that weary heart of yours at my feet. All your cares you may bring to me, troweling nothing. Take a moment today to stop striving and searching for immediate solutions. I need only to embrace you and love you enough that you should be enveloped in tenderness and guided to peace, the thing that you so long for and for which your heart throbs. I am the answer to your prayers. Before all else, however, I desire that tranquility be re-established within you. Entrust everything to me. I will handle it. But today I want you to lay aside all your cares, to learn to trust in me, to place in my hands all that is beyond your power. 
My dear, close your eyes. It is time to sleep. In regaining the cheer you so desire to have, to be emotionally stable, it is good for you. For you need to be strong, when trials will again assail and try to shake and scatter you. Yet do not fear. I want to forewarn you now, so be vigilant. I will protect and provide an escape route. Today more than ever, with all my love, I beg of you, do not let your spirit be overwhelmed with the feelings that are attacking you. Be careful with your mind against thoughts that will tear it apart. And do not speak words of defeat, sadness, despair, and despondency. Lay down your burdens and find rest in my embrace. Feel my hand upon your head, gently easing away all tension, putting peace and patience into you. You are like a helpless baby in my arms, utterly safe and deeply loved. As you lie there, let my love surround you, anointing your spirit with strength and with wisdom. I'm working within you, strengthening your heart so that nothing and no one will shake your peace. Be still. Speak to me in your words, declaring your trust in my care, affirming you will not give in to worry. My love for you is immeasurable. When things come against you, do not be overcome with fear or dismay. Remember, you are not, and never will be, alone. I am with you, watching over you and caring for you, ready to help you through and direct you into solutions for the battles of your life. I now lift the burdens that dampen your zest for life. You have laid your heart before me, and I have been attentive to your needs, responding to your calls. Let these words enfold you like a mantle in security, peace, joy, and assurance. Allow hope to fill your heart full, like a cup filled to overflowing with water, pouring over and releasing gladness to the world around you. These words are bathed in love. Today is a new day for you, a day to cast aside the darkness that has shrouded your happiness. I am answering your plea for a sign, surrounding you in my presence. Trust in me. I also give you the mental ability to see over and beyond what you are facing right now. I have a purpose and a plan fashioned just for you. There is no such thing as failure. From this day on, brace yourself for a deluge of victories and blessings. But in turn, I need a sworn promise from you. Share this video with up to two people, if you need God's presence. Every morning upon awakening, the first thought in your mind should be one of me. First thing with the onset of each new day, you can practice being grateful for your life and all its many good gifts. Do this and you will see the windows of heaven open, blessing one beyond the limits, overflowing into every area of his life. If you give me your heart, from within you will flow rivers of living water, which will quench your soul with divine sweetness, repeating my words in your ears while you pass through your day. At night when you sleep, and in every intervening moment, my Holy Spirit will be with you. You have nothing to fear. I would have you experience and embrace the holy emotion that is found in my presence. This profound feeling brings back tranquility to your soul, aligns your thoughts, and encases all of you within light, so that with each last drop of darkness expelled, a new dawn shall rise within you, that renewal that makes you alive and full with exuberant vigor for the rest of your journey. Remember, you are not what other people see you to be or how you are affected by events around you. You are held wholly safe and secure in my hands. This is your reality. So often you catch yourself thinking about the future and worrying about your family, trying to figure out when all your troubles will end. Now let me tell you something deep. Your victory is already attained. Stand up. So this is already your feat. I have conquered the world and with it, its trials. Your part is to believe. Believe with real steadiness of commitment no matter what is happening or what you see with your natural eyes. You are not going into a futile fight. You are assured of victory. This is the way it's supposed to go, and all come unto me with faith have superhuman power and inspiration. There may dawn a day in your life when you seem to be encircled by obstacles and opponents, when instead of blessings you are confronted by issues and challenges. You may begin to deem that happiness is not meant for you, but let this be indelibly marked in your soul. God has already sown in thee the seeds of happiness and given thee the will to develop joy in thy life. Do not wait for others to smile or make you feel good, for everyone is engrossed in their own battles. Do not even wait for those who are hurt to love you. 
believe in me and know that in me dwells the only source of your basic needs. These include material things like food, shelter, and prosperity and also your emotional and spiritual requirements, such as encouragement, peace, and, and joy. I am your friend, your God always listening. There is no one in this world that loves you as I do. Learn to depend on me alone and free yourself from dependency upon selfish people and from selling your dignity for temporary glimpses of companionship. Now close your eyes and write where you're at. Share all your thoughts with me and trust me with all of your fears. If you give your life completely to me, sadness will never come to your heart, neither discouragement nor depression. However, I challenge you to a faith more alive and active. Our encounters must be constant, not weekly. I want to be your God not of weekends, but of every day and every instant. I'm your Father from time immemorial, present for you at all times. I never sleep, I watch at every moment. Be assured you are in the shelter of my arms. Hold fast this reality in your heart of hearts. My longing to bless you is great and real. Once you fully imbibe this, you will observe the enormous wonders I plan to unveil in your life. Listen carefully to my voice. Allow these words to sink deep into your spirit. Right now, you are loosed from despair, and there is no room for anxiety in your soul. I anoint you with holy oil, covering you with my peace. I compel you to be strong. Do not be discouraged or fearful, for I tell you, your prayers are not in vain, and the difficulties you have been through will soon be over. If you give up now, you may wrongly imagine that you were abandoned when your situation was most desperate, that my words proved untrue. You must not lose faith. In this fight, I am your bulwark. Even when you feel like giving up today, throwing in the towel, it is then that the real pushing has to be done. All those barriers that stand in your way will break down now. If you stop pushing, stop trying, you will miss the many good things hidden in each problem. Fight on, have faith, endure, and surge ahead without stumbling. I speak these words in love that you should not be in doubt concerning the wonderful future that lies ahead. Marvelous things, new blessings await, and you will be the pace setter in your family to reach this divine and supernatural height. Many read my word and acknowledge my capacity for miracles, yet they often harbor doubts, feel unworthy, or question my willingness to reveal my power. Mingling with those that sow seeds of doubt and resign to a life without purpose, going far from the grace that can make them anew. But not you. You have radically changed your mindset, but then you are human, and so it was but natural for you to feel fatigued. I know it very well, and so I am here to refresh your faith. You feel my words in your heart and believe them. You will heed my call to rise. You will not surrender when victory is so near. I approach you also because I alone possess the bread of life that is eternally satiating, the living water that quenches your deepest thirsts. No one will step in to relieve your burdens and offer you rest the way I will. Many plead your case, and I hear them, yet tis I who bestow upon thee the spiritual inheritance yours from the beginning. I am thy munificent provider and none other. Thus, thou needest not strive by thine own hands to acquire the earthly goods. Thou needest not labor in concern for thy daily bread. Thou needest not place thine ultimate trust in employment that wanes or thine fresh commodities that do decay. So acknowledge in your heart that I am and will forever be your shepherd, your provider. Acknowledge this every day. Come and hear what my message is each morning. Then lie on your bed and with a thankful heart. Thank me for your life, for your family, for where you are now and for what is yet to come. Give thanks, because just as I have overcome, so you too shall overcome this world's adversity. You receive from me hands more beautiful than any other gift. My love, my understanding, my friendship, my Holy Spirit, my wisdom, my protection. Arise early, and let thy lips overflow with praise, whereby thou mayest show thyself devoted. Know this, I shall never forsake thee, nor do I will for thee to leave my side. Trust in me with all your heart, my arms shall ever be outstretched to receive thee. I listen attentively to every your cry and plea, hug full of hope today and ready to share the blessing. Share this video with up to two people if you need God's presence. 
you share with those who have less. Love these gifts with all your heart. Keep away from the company of the wicked. Do not tread the paths of sinner, nor sit in the company of the scornful. Keep away from those that plot evil, who ensnare the innocent, who steal from the destitute and who deride the humble. Fall not into traps the enemy lays for the unthinking. Never forget that you are called for a mighty purpose. Today, I lift off your being all discouragement and weariness. Feel the rush of supernatural strength that now courses into your heart. You will not be faint. You shall yet fight. Nothing and no one is going to stand in your way. Day after day, I strengthen you. Just keep pushing forward. My love and blessings await you. I understand when you become desperate or lose patience. I do not judge you. My love embraces you, even when you are unaware of its existence. Life is full of pressures, and it is quite understandable to feel stressed or overwhelmed. I would prefer you to speak openly with me on your feelings rather than letting your anxieties bottled up, struggling alone. You know you cannot face this alone. Allow me to be able to help you. Take some time today to rest in my presence. You need it. I want you to find rest in me as I clear the way ahead. You don't need to feel ashamed about the gaps here. You are loved, heard, and valued in my presence. I will not remind you of your past errors. Listen to my words and read them. I speak so softly uh, to let your weary head rest on my shoulder, to rid you of anxiety and safeguard your soul. In the end, who is it that has loved thee more than I? Who is it that this morning did venture to knock at the door and awaken thee, promising love? I love you so much that words fall short. Do not even try to understand my love at all. Just shut your eyes, hush, and feel. My love will gush into every nook of your heart, purifying every little speck of old painful memories. If indeed you still have an empty place in your heart, saved for someone who disappointed you, then I trust myself to help you get rid of that weight. No one should take the place in your life that's only reserved by me. Place me first and live knowing it's only me who will never fail you. Yes, even in times of your weaknesses, even in times of faltering, know that I will never, ever stop to give grace toward you, to give forgiveness toward you, to give aid toward you. It is in my nature to bless you, love you, and care for you. You fully well realize that even them, who are your family, who are your best friends, they can also let you down someday. Any human being would normally demand much from the other party. And the more one trusts another person unguarded, the more that person will disappoint. Mine, however, is true, incorruptible, and eternal. I share it with you today. I hope that you will accept it. Though past hurt may have caused you to doubt such a pure love, I am patient, and I will persist until you hear me. I shall awaken you each day, talk to you as gently as I may. Turn your life around. You did such a great thing to come and see me today. Slash slash now. Tell me how you feel right here. Speak to me in the stillness of your heart. Slash slash keep talking. I am listening. That's what you wonder about the future. Whether you're going to overcome the challenges, move forward, what's waiting at the end. Just speak your heart out to me. You will find understanding and compassion here. Don't be ashamed to tell your discouragements and frustrations. Come as you are. There is just really no need to hide your feelings. I understand them too well already. But I want you to tell me, to put it into your own words. May this action again fan your faith into life. Remember that I am the only one who really loves and understands you fully. People will look at you and pass judgment. They say you have failed too many times. In their estimation, your spirit is weak. They look for you to give up, walk away, and deny me. Worst yet, the faith. Yet today you have come unto me and here you can lay down all of that baggage at my feet. And instead of being overcome by your despair, you will grab a hold of my words and my promises. You will believe again. Behold, I stand before you, immovable in my love toward you, unshaken in my commitment. Trust in me, let us walk forward together. Those desiring you to stumble shall stumble themselves. He who digs a hole for you will fall into it. He that lays traps shall fall into his own snare. And he who opens his lips against you shall then realize the depth of my love toward you. 
I don't want you to carry the weight of torment anymore. So from now on, the chains around you binding you with confusion and frustration are broken. Your mind is free in my holy, powerful name now. The plans of the enemy are null. Your health is renewed and your strength is restored. Your thoughts will be brought back into clarity. I am your almighty God, and even now I can turn your heart into the flesh that it was meant to be and fill all your bones with my spirit. Feel my presence with you now and always. My peace overcomes you. Your faith stirs once again in this hour. You are wrapped in my love. Go home and share with those closest to you the words that I have said to you. You are very precious. The miracle that happens in your life, let it happen. Seek me at break of day. Submit to my glory, and there I shall be. All ears to listen to you, to assist you, to extend deep peace unto you. You will find this hour with me really pays dividends. While others sleep, the fact that you have risen early to seek me causes me to pour out a blessing on you. I guard your rest, protecting and refreshing your spirit. Do not forget that, in reality, you are never alone. Do not plunge into despair or have the misconception that so many things depend on you. Indeed, the miracle I am going to bring in your life is not going to be raised on any human effort, rather on my Holy Spirit. You are going to feel my presence the most as you go through this miracle you have waited for so long. Fill me with faith and gratitude. Therefore, never stop praying. Seek me at all times, morning, noon, and evening. Your prayers in the dawn are potent, and our time together at sunrise will be sweet. The more you come to me, the more you are close to victory. The presence of God does not mean you will have no battles. There will be troubles, fights, and wars, but it does mean your victory is secured. In these confused and troubled times, gird thyself in my glory. Try to fill your heart with my Holy Spirit, and my love will come to dwell in you. You will begin to behold a different nature in your being, much more patient, much more courageous, and you will walk with assurance through this world, not yielding to any threat or listening to the whispered accusations of the enemy. You may walk boldly, for I am before you to direct your way. Do not let the accuser, he who would turn you aside, plant doubt in your heart, make you feel so unworthy because of your mistakes and weaknesses. I shed my very own blood for you. You are much loved and so dear to me. The enemy is afraid of you, for he knows that. As long as you hold on to me, I am going to work wonders in your life and bring healing and restoration to your loved ones and to all those who surround you. Retain well the words I place in your heart today and come back tomorrow. Spend a little time with me, for in my presence you will find a supernatural peace that shall make you joyful, secure, enveloped in my love. Keep trusting in me. Don't give up. Keep your gaze toward heaven, especially when you get tired on your journey. When you feel you can't go on any further, the warmth of my love will remind you that I am with you always. Put not your trust in man, for they may fail you. Let not your spirit depend on affection or the approval of mankind. In fact, I created you to love and really to be loved. But it also holds true that the only love said to be eternal, that love that should always be there for you, is my divine love, faithful, near, and safe. Keep your heart from them who can leave you and commit not thy future unto they who can stop loving you after you have loved them with all your heart. If you want to listen to God's message and bring positive changes to your life, then subscribe to the channel. Do not welcome into your heart those who will abandon you at the first sign of distress, who will hurt you so much that your life will be thrown out of joint. You prayed for hope, now it's here. You asked that you might know peace, so it shall be. And whether it be night, or whether it be day, do both with my blessing. For when you lie in my arms, though you are safe sleeping, when you rise, my strong hand is the lifeguard over you. Always remember that you are not alone, you are not forsaken. Even as those relations nearest to you go, or even desert you, the deepest and most permanent love will always be within your reach. My love, is it not wonderful to know that your Heaven Father loves and cares profoundly for you? I know these are the very words that perhaps you need. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word coming out of my heart. I now offer you peace, encouragement, tranquility, and trust. My peace I leave with you, my peace I bestow upon you. 
Neither the world nor any person can give you the love and peace that I can. Open your heart today to receive it. Your sign, the need that you've been crying out for in your prayers, is right before your eyes. While in your desperation, you cried out, wept, and then sought my counsel. You begged for relief from your burdens, and I am here, answering you. It's not by chance that this is going to happen right now, but rather these words find you at exactly the right moment you need them most. As my Holy Spirit wraps around you and the infusion of strength into your life is at hand, know this, I have waited for the exact right moment to douse you with my love. Today, you have partly opened your heart, the deep, hidden ear, to hear and confirm this covenant that was made between us, to trust me fully, to place your faith and every hope in me. Know that I hear every pleading, and may this soothe the anxious thoughts that fret that your words are lost to the void. From the very moment of your reaching out, an angel started off from my throne bearing with him the key to your freedom. You are precious to me, and there is a spiritual war for your well-being. The devil is going to such an extent as to keep you grounded, while my heavenly hosts are waging a war for you. The sudden trials that fall on you are never by happenstance, it is part of this warfare. From now onwards you've to be careful and cautious. Speak less, reveal fewer secrets, and be careful who you confide in. The adversary is working on unmasking you, touches on your soul's weakness, speaking lies, deceptions to break you down in faith. Yet your tomorrow is filled with miracles, wonders, supernatural living. Though present afflictions may seem heavy upon you today, they are only temporary. The sorrow that burdens you will soon lift, and those who have hurt you will come begging for your forgiveness, which you will extend to them. But your trust must remain entirely in me alone. Even if other people make great promises, it is only I who have the power to truly bless you or to save you from evils. My words are true. I do not fail, and I do not deceive. If you transfer your trust to the insincere promises of others, your blessings might fade like the wind, some of them gone forever. This is your time now. May your faith be founded on my word, which is alive and eternal, unchanging and always true through all time. The moment of choice draws near. Choose my love, choose my comfort, choose my arms. Be honest that really climbing out of bed every morning, to listen to and find refreshment in my words that illuminate the path and gives you courage to press on. Approach with confidence, I am always with you, no matter what your condition or mood may be. The doors of my house are open, the doors of my heart are open attentively. Approach me early in the morning, it is the best time to whisper thy prayer and to feel my loving response. Speak to me, for thine utterance merely voices thy thought, and to remember me in silence is a tender aromatic unto me, incense which spaith no prayer nor demand, but only sweet affection and perfect surrender. Share with me your dreams, your needs, your frustrations, your doubts. Speak openly from your heart to mine, for I am that sure friend, your only friend really, who understands and comprehends you fully in every way. You've been pounded by strong gale force winds of adversity that knocked you off balance, stood attack after attack of out of the blue anxiety, and known the spleen of contempt and cruelty, which cut away at your very soul, leaving it broken and barely gasping, grasping for peace. Cheer up, you will find your peace in me. I will infuse your heart with strength amidst your trials. When at weak peace, serenity shall be yours, and when at moments of faintness, fear not. Hold on to my promise, and when the weight of your burdens feel strong, come unto me. Always remember, I am forever by your side. Do not let doubts cloud your path or steal the blessings that await you. I look with favor upon you out of my deep love. I bless you with my favors and mercies, for you are of immense value to me. You are dearly and truly mine. My love for you is unyielding and eternal. Today is a red letter day a day of victory that will be inerasable from your memory. By my sacrificial death, I have consecrated these promises to you. Under me, you will know joy, and I shall grant you eternal life in my presence. There will be no more tears, no more pain. Consider it all as this, my child. Open your eyes. All these things which confront you at this moment will very soon pass away. The help you have long awaited is arriving. 
and the supply you require will most surely come. Have faith that all that you pray for shall be brought to you by me. Confess to me that you believe this, my child. Banish your desperation. Throw your wretchedness to the ground. For this day I am here, with me the very help that has awaited you for so long. Be aware that my silence was not absence, but preparation for this precise moment of your life. It is important to know with certainty that I have always been near, never turning my back on you. In every single second, in every single trial, I am here with you. Even in the most obscure of times, when darkness seems to surround you from every side, I was near, silently waiting for the right moment to fulfill your deepest desires. I know the scars of the afflictions you have faced, how the ordeals have graven deep cuts within you. Every tear that falls has touched my heart and all the prayers you make have reached my ears. So let me reassure you, by my love and my word of assurance, that all your tears will be wiped away. From heaven I heard your cry, I saw your relentless nudging. It shall be that no endeavors along this way of affliction will be in vain for every step. Fear not, I am faithful to answer, even to all that you've entreated me. My purpose stand resolute, to bless you abundantly and to see you flourish. Beloved child, know that I am working in every detail to have your heart's desires met. I assure you that you have my word and promise in an effort to answer your prayers, to uphold you in your staunch and unwavering faith. Kept going, be a warrior facing life with unbowed head, unconquered spirit. Be thou an example of the goodness there is, as thy word declares, in what thou does, in love, in faith, in moral purity. Make use of the sword of the Spirit. Go out and do it with confidence. Remember, you won't ever be on your own. Let no single challenge instill fear in your heart, for I am here at your side, infusing you with courage and encouragement to press onward. Everything that I orchestrate in your life, I do for your ultimate well-being and prosperity. I plan thoughtfully towards your abundant blessing. Trust in me with all your heart, and I assure you failure will not be your end. For success is near because I will be with you right until every promise of mine has come to pass. Share this video with up to two people, if you need God's presence. Though great are the obstacles, together we will surmount them. Your faith and perseverance, the seeing of your dreams realized and securing your victory, is the key. Trust deeply in my provision, and you will see just how all your aspirations are fulfilled. Do not grow weary in your waiting. Each step forward is one of growth, and each moment of delay prepares for greater things to come. Be assured, my plans for you are perfect, tailored even amidst life's adversities. The trials you have gone through and the hurdles one has surmounted are not without purpose. Each tear and every moment of uncertainty have been steps on the path leading you to now. So do not be afraid, for today is the day of your turning around. The answers to your concerns, the solutions to your problems, and your needs are right in front of you. Only retain faith and see how the waiting comes to an end, unveiling some great design meant to bless your life immeasurably. Believe that what once seemed impossible will one day unfold. See the opening of the closed doors and manifestation of dreams. You will come out from this wiser and stronger, ready to see that happen in your life that you always wanted deep within. It is the time now to reap what you sowed many years ago in the form of patience and faith. You better live this moment fully because what is waiting ahead is more gigantic than any storm you ever faced. Today, I say unto thee, my love and assurances are still unbroken and shall soon be realized by the cascade of blessings and triumphs that shall leave thee amazed. Herein lies this particular moment, one for the receipt of all you have waited for. In this time now, keep glowing within the heart the radiant flame of hope. Hold firmly before you the knowledge that you are being prepared for the very best. Every moment of waiting is a big step toward the fullness of the blessings yet to come. Your harvest season has finally come. Do not let go, it has really arrived. Be certain that as your God and Father, I have really blessed you in a special and potent way with a divine strength, which will lead you to triumph in each challenge and to success in all aspects of your life. Don't let others tell you that you are not good enough or that you are not worthy. Indeed, they are the ones blind to the overall design I have made with you in mind. Your world may suggest you can do it without me, 
but only in my power does it lead to really succeeding and truly living. Go against the tide of this age that draws you out to the temporary, superficial enjoyment. Choose wisdom, eschew evil, and though your purse be empty, never let your faith run dry or anything move into my place in your heart. Do not bear your burdens alone, have trust in my love and wisdom, and together we shall scale any obstacle that may block our way. Fix your hopes on me, and you shall find a peace that passes understanding, which shall keep you amidst life's storms. My word speaks abundant blessings for you, your family, and the generations that follow. You are invaluable to me. My love toward you is unconditional and eternal, my intents over your life unwavering and full of promise. I will never leave you alone, but I am always here for guidance and support in every step you take. Don't look for temporary happiness in the things of this world. Rather, seek your happiness in my presence and in studying my word. It is there that you shall find a blueprint for every good gift I have in store. My word is not a book of rules, but a reservoir of loving guidelines from which comes forth the wellspring of the abundant life. If you will receive my teaching and trust in me, I will increase my blessings towards you in ways beyond your imaginations. See a flood of welfare and grace, and favor that will be more than you ever thought possible. I love you more than you could know, and I always am ready to bless and enrich your life. Only trust in me and seek my presence and follow my commands. See how I turned your life into a living testimony of hope and prosperity by doing only what I was capable of. Give it not up yet, keep fighting, doing your best, and hanging on to my promises. Sure, they are true and never fail, amidst doubts, challenges, and hardships the world throws at you. Keep trusting me, keep holding on to my word, for I am God, the impossible God. Nothing is too difficult for me. And in my power is your strength and provision for whatever situation you may find yourself in. Don't be led astray by the wrong thinking or negative views of people who don't understand my word or my plan for you. Quite often what the world thinks is wise actually stands opposed to my divine wisdom. Though my ways may seem strange or difficult to you, know that every step I guide you through is toward the life full of abundance that I have in store for you. Now, as you are facing adversity, don't be afraid. Knowing my limitless love supports you and that I am here in every decision and circumstance, entrust your life's direction to me and I will guide, protect, and be your strength. In this we will bravely overcome the stormy seas of life. The Holy Spirit dwells in you, a well of never-ending comfort, direction and revelation. He will never leave you. Listen for His gentle guidance in your heart. Be still for He will lead you into all truth, reminding you of my promises. Whenever doubts come, trust in me. Beloved, when all seems too overwhelming and one feels he cannot go on, Come to me and take rest in my arms. Do not get disheartened. Fall in the heat of battle. All these burdens lay them before me, and I shall tenderly care for each. Remember, you are not to face life alone. I am your refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. All these trials are but a step to the life of blessing, a kind of life and prosperity in which you can bloom and fatten really. Dear soul, it were my highest delight to live with you in joy and plenty. But this is the thing. Not in goods or fleshly good do the joy and fullness come, nor by man's favor. True success is not what one has or does. It is a purpose and love full life, principled and full of love for those around one. Come on, eh, kid, don't give up. The very things you're asking for are almost in your face. Keep doing what I have ordained for you. Don't get swayed by obstacles or momentary challenges. This moment, what you are going through is not your destiny, but a forerunner of great things that I have in store for you. Rise and keep moving. Every step forward propels you nearer to the blessings you desire. Let not visible troubles and other people's opinions belittle what I have placed within you with the promise of a future that is blessed and prosperous. Therefore, trust me, and let no doubt block your spiritual vision. Even in these dark days, each one of them is a stepping stone to the greatness that lies ahead. Develop faith in the assurance of things not yet seen. Cheer up, do not turn away from walking in the path, for you are at the verge of receiving the promise that I have given unto you.
do not grow weary, nor think that your path is too hard or out of reach. Remember, you aren't defined by failures or the critical words of others. Don't let yourself be distracted by those who are in ignorance of my word. Envious voices may actually be coveting your blessings, knowing your good, generous heart and knowing of my love for you, but their words will in no way change my plans to bless you. Be calm and steadfast in your faith. It's in your trust in me that you will overcome any barrier. Today, I give you words to comfort your troubled spirit and enhance your faith. If you happen to stand before an impassable sea, just know that I am able to make you walk upon the water. Only believe in me, and I will give you the power to go through sterile deserts and sail upon the troubled waters. Feel my loving power upon you, guiding you into a land of grace and plenty. I have prepared you for this. Do not fear, for I am with you to give you strength, to mend the wounds of your heart, to calm all doubt and uncertainty. My child, my dear one, open your heart wide to my wisdom and blessings. I see everything about your struggles and your triumphs, and I want you to keep moving forward. Trust in me with all your heart, for what I have in store for you, no mind has ever conceived. If you want to listen to God's message and bring positive changes to your life, then subscribe to the channel. Let not the obstacles in your world exasperate your spirits. Let go of burdens in your past and do not fear your future. Feel my love and my power now for, with me, there is always the promise of new beginning and fresh chance at reshaping your story. Allow me to guide your future with my mighty hands. I'm about to change your life, placing opportunities and blessings upon your path from now on. Let mine be the words that guide your decisions, not the world's. Trust my words for wisdom in attaining every step you are going to take. You will find in my guidance fulfillment and realization your heart desires and the ability to bring forth your dreams. Walk by faith and give heed to my voice, in it is the assurance of a path lit with plenty and rejoicing forevermore. Believe that today's trials are nothing but an hors d'oeuvre toward the main course of greatness awaiting you. Do not despair, for in every challenge lies a lesson something that gets you closer to your destiny. Know that each obstacle is an opportunity for you to become stronger, for the refining of your character, and setting a base for a wonderful future that I have in store. Do not turn from the path on which you walk, neither be turned back by discouragement. Trust in the potential I have given within you and in the strength that resides in your heart. For though the road may be rough, every step brings you closer to the actualization of your dreams not limited by what seems impossible. For actualizing the desires that I have put in your heart and for the beautiful blessings I've ever reserved for you. Be strong and full of resolve in forging forward, for within your acts of perseverance lies the path to peace and prosperity that you long for. Believe in it, and it shall be. I need to talk to you. Open your heart and listen to me. In the confusions of life, amid the daily trials you go through, be certain that I am right here with you. My love for you is infinite, eternal. My love towards you is pure and sincere. It is ever helpful. And because of this love, I want you to be quite sure that I will never fail you. I will fulfill every promise that I have made to you and will not rest until you are filled with abundant blessings. Since the very day of your creation, I have held you in my arms and walked with you through every moment of your life. I have seen your joys and your sorrows, and I felt your pain as if it were my own. My love has never left you, not even for one instant. And with all the heartache and hurt, when others inflicted it upon you and crushed your heart, I have been there, after it all, to strengthen and comfort you. I have never turned my back upon you, dear child. I call unto you now. Allow me to be your refuge in this storm of life, your strength when you feel so very weak. Let me guide you along pathways of hope, peace, and joy. When your world seems to have turned its back on you in times of distress and loneliness, remember I am always near you. No matter the setbacks that confront you, which friends turn against you, or the doors that slam shut in your face, my love for you shall be everlasting, without bounds. My loyalty toward you has no bounds, and you will never be left alone in adversity. You are going to be at a loss and without any way to turn when you look deep inside your heart and feel my burning love there for you. I am your lighthouse in the dark and your star guiding you through the night. 
No matter how dark your journey may seem, I am always here to guide you toward light and give you the strength to move forward. I stand there for you even when those around you fail, abandon, or betray you. And at times when you feel so alone, I enfold you with open arms so that you may be comforted. Though man may disappoint you, I shall always be your rock, your fortress, and your refuge in this much less than perfect world. Hard knocks and tough times will sure come knocking at your door. And yes, you shall feel alone, pushed to the wall at those times, but cling on to the fact that I am with you. I don't change. You can call out to me anytime, and I will be there to listen and act. And so I will always be there, ready to help and advise you whenever your strength fails and hope grows dim. Never fear the hour of your weakness, then I'll uphold you. Forget not how much my love can mend a broken life. Have trust in me, and I'll help you up again, that in triumph and renewal you may go on your way. Even when the world judges or turns its back on you, remember that my judgment is righteous and my love unconditional. No matter your sins or failures, I give forgiveness and a new beginning through my grace. No distance can ever separate you from my presence. In me, you will find refuge and comfort in my loving embrace. No, there is nothing you ever could do that would make me quit loving you. My love is not earned. It is a grace gift given to you today without reservation. Only believe in me, turning not away, and believe the words. I speak to you now. Do not wrestle with your inner turmoil or let your feelings get the better of you. Indeed, the heart is deceitful and complicated, but I, your God, am aware of it all. Put your hope in me, even at the worst time, while the world gives way and storms pound at you from every side. Remember that I am that God who quiets storms and upholds the downtrodden. My power is far greater than anything that may come against you, and my love stronger than any pain you may endure. Fear not because I am always with you. Commit your cares and anxieties to me, and see how I can turn them into a blessing. Your true shepherd, I will never let you stray far from me. Even when circumstances rise up and plant seeds of doubt, just hold fast to your trust in me and in my perfect plan for your life. My child, my love for you is deeper than words can express, more vast than you can imagine. No matter how many times you stumble, I'll be there to pick you up. No matter how often you sin, my grace will be sufficient to allow you to press on. Trust in me, at my feet cast your cares, and live with the assurance that my love never fails. Whatever the case may be, I am with you. Be confident to declare, when things get tough, that I am your mighty God. I know life is trying to weigh you down, the powers of darkness feeding on your faith and determination. Fear not, for I am with you. Believe in me, even if your faith be but like a grain of mustard seed. And with that faith, you shall do wonders, things to come about in your life. You shall shine forth my glory from within you and stretch out your hand to heal. Wherever you go, blessings shall follow upon you. I'll light up each step of your walk, guiding you to a new path, a path full of blessings and riches with the prosperity of your efforts. Know that I am always with you, in every moment, in every cry to me. I listen, eager to act. Know in everything that my mighty hand works, moving winds for you and stroking the flames of faith from within. When you pray for protection, angels stand to guard over you. When you seek healing, my hand reaches out to cover your wounds. And when you want peace, I enfold you in mine. All that you want for an answer lies within me, and in time all shall be revealed and clear to you. Then you will understand and perceive what is now hidden from you. Now I stretch out to you my powerful hand, and my right hand of firmness to strengthen your spirit bathing you within the boundlessness of my love. On the day when your soul feels the darkest, know that I am already in motion on your behalf. Let me tell you just how much you mean to me. Every prayer you whisper is a conversation that I am part of. I listen really carefully to each word with a really sensitive ear and answer with care and with thought. Without a doubt, know this, you were created with deep purpose. Your destiny has threads of abundance and grace interwoven throughout. Every decision, right and wrong, can lead you down the road that I have already shown you. Stop in your tracks when uncertainty strikes and call to me, for I'll give you the word of wisdom to act in a way which will be pleasing to me. 
Oh, don't seek advice from the wicked or hang around those who dine on evil schemes. For the roots they set go towards destruction, not blessing. Offer your actions and thoughts, every decision to my will. Ask for my will to guide you in every prayer. I see now, as you hear my words, I see the worries upon your heart. You have brought your troubles to me these many, many times, and I have counseled you in patience. Have I not? And have I not also told you that it shall come to you in that perfect timing? Trust that it shall. Let me arrange the details, for I am at work even when you are unaware, working even as you sleep. You are perfectly understood by me. I have not come to judge or condemn or to point out your failures. It is a time of forgiveness and grace. It is a season of renewal, when the old passes away and a new path stretches out ahead of you. Though you might, with your earthly eyes, not see me, but I am right next to you. Just as always, you are able to sense my presence. You know, from my word, how jealously I stand by my children, and in fact, I have been your staunch protector. I save you, on a daily basis, from the enemy's attacks. I rescue you from the quagmire of hopelessness. When everyone turned their face and left you forsaken, I reached out to you. I saw your true worth furnished with the armor of faith and lit the way. Miracles await you on this journey. With every step of faith that you make, know I am beside you. Do not harbor doubts about my presence in your life. My love for you is for as much now as it was at the first, and, indeed, I have loved you even ere you were born of your mother. Keep this message in your hand and keep coming back to it when you need to be comforted or feel strength rising within you. Fan the flame of faith within you. In a short while, your fears will vanish and your dearest wish will be granted. Dear, fan your faith and cultivate patience. Remember, I'll never leave you. Be not anxious for tomorrow. Lay aside fruitless, empty effort that only brings turmoil in you. Let go of all that prevents my blessings. Refrain from doubt and persist in prayer. Trust in me and my word. Not all is lost in your life, for unending blessings are going to fill your life. All the trials are starting to be just bittersweet memories. Wait, my child. Fear not, nor be discouraged. For I am with you always. Rest assured I know your needs. I see the burdens that are on your heart, the distress that seizes you when finances fail and health slips away. But now, this very moment, open your heart unto my promises and guide your steps by my leading. Cling unto my word, yea, and study it with intent. It will guide you in the good paths of right and truth. In doing so, you will see your troubles fall away and your worries disappear. I will fill your life with peace and contentment, blessing you for your sincere trust in me. Remember, I am a mighty God. I will bless and heal more than you or your family, your children, and your parents. Just believe, and it will really happen. Just wait. Do not get irritated to take the shortcuts that can get you into the wrong road down to being ruined. Be persistent in prayer and never stop searching my scriptures, so that you may not be misled by false doctrines. Have little worry about your worldly things, since what the world can offer you is transitory, but what I can give is eternal and true. Your deliverance is at hand. I am never late, nor do I ever forget. I always try to take care of your needs minutely. In this life, you would meet with trials and challenges in times of test. Troubles sometimes rattle your faith, but in this adversity, remember I am always with you, ready to guide and fortify you. Do not yield to despair. Combat the trials of life with faith and patience, because those are the virtues which will make your prayers answerable at the opportune time. Faith will not only empower you to endure, but give you the confidence that my blessing will come to meet you even in time of trouble. You are to cling to my promises when financial burdens or poor health hedge you in. My word is that fountain of comfort and counsel, that beacon of hope piercing the darkness. Rest assured, I have the power to do wonders in your life. My love and grace are unfathomable. Today, I do not only release healing and blessings over you, but I also release presence on your loved ones, family, and people closer to your heart. This trust in me will strengthen your aspirations 
and give you enough strength to confront the offers of iniquity of this world, which try to distract your attention. Keep up your faith and constant intercessions. These will guide you to the solid grounding of my divine will and prevent you from seduction by false doctrines. Beloved child, your super thanks empowers our divine mission. Click the button to join us in spreading God's message of truth and enlightenment. In return, receive boundless blessings from the depths of His love. Through my words, all the things that bother you will be kept away from you. You will be certain that you are on the righteous path. Clasp my promisings and wait upon time. My help will be with you to overcome all the difficulties that come concernedly in your way. Don't hold fear or dismay, as I will never leave you behind on that path. Place in me now your deepest necessities. I will make up for all that you are without. Walk freely and lightly. I am here for all your burdens, irrespective of how heavy they are. I am there for you, to make it easy and give you strength so you can go ahead. Remember, your hope in me gives you comfort and fortitude in the storms of life. I'm a God of promises, love, and miracles. I have unending grace and, and my love for you will last forever. Thus, let the flame of your faith remain ablaze. Be patient and hold on to your trust in me. Then, you shall behold all your worries evaporate as they are replaced by that peace and serenity only I can give. You are my dear one, and I am your ever watchful guardian. I do love you with eternal, pure, and true love. Do not lose faith. Let hope glow brightly in you. A path full of blessings, favor, and grace awaits. Do not be overly concerned about tomorrow. Yes, I realize that trials are many and days are long. You get tired, hope fades. Be of good courage, for you will never face a day by yourself. I care much for you and won't let harm come to your way. Even your strength in times of need, support in danger, and comfort in trouble. In my presence, you will always be safe. Believe only in me, the fears will melt away and, and what troubled you before will come right. Giving your trust to me lightens your load and gives space in your life for my love to overflow. Release every doubt that questions my word. Believe in me with all your heart and give everything, all of it, into my hands. In me, there is no power in scarcity or want. Today, my word shall soothe your soul and bring rest to your spirit. Believe what I say to you. Do not hold on to doubt. I am ordained to make your dreams a reality, to increase your finances, and to cause your family to be a blessing to one another. Be assured that I do not make promises and not act upon them. I am your Father, and since the foundation of the earth, I have delighted in you. But what I want most of you is that you be happy and bloom with the biggest flower of my love in your heart. My favor shall come upon you by accepting and welcoming my grace. Remember this, my promises stand firm and true. I bring my word to pass. Do not be anxious for the days ahead. Trust in me, and see that the doors yield widely upon unveiling the opportunities that will ultimately turn your life to the fullest. This is the hour to fully trust with all of your mind, heart, and soul. Release those noxious feelings and errors in thought that mislead you. Let go of the worldly cares that torment your peace and distress your spirit. Grab hold of faith, hope, and the life of abundance I've promised to you. It's time to dream big, to reach high. It's time to cast off the chains that have curtailed your potential. Step out of the shadows of yesterday and into light. This moment belongs to you. Remember, the dreams that are nestled in your heart are those that I lovingly placed there. Let go of the weight of anxiety and hand over your worries to me. Let my love surround you and my peace dissolve confusion with light and clarity on the way ahead. This is your moment. The time to fully trust in me is now. Live free of fear and full of hope. Give yourself totally to my love and guidance. Allow not the weights of your past to hold you back, neither the concerns of this life to steal the joy of your now. It is time now to break loose from the chains that have bound and restricted your potential. Do not be afraid of the enemy's voice or worn down by his accusations. Let my light chase away every shadow of doubt and fear. Remember my desires designed to lead you toward that destiny which from your birth I always purposed for you, a graceful, favored, blessed pathway, ensuring well-being, so that you might have an exceptional today and a glorious tomorrow. 
You are my precious creation, fashioned in my image, redeemed at a great price, and I will not let anyone snatch you from my embrace. Beginning today, be zealous for your present and be in anticipation. Do not be afraid of the new challenges and meet the numerous trials without dismay. This is your moment. Never lose faith in me. Live courageously with hope in your heart. See how you are going to bloom and shine in all your glory because you are a priceless treasure of mine. Press on, breathe deep, and continue on. Study my word every day, but be steadfast in your prayers. Keep your faith and trust in me, so all of your works may succeed. Remember that your thoughts are very powerful seeds. Sow them well, so that what you reap shall be overflowing with blessing. Dear son, dear daughter, step out in faith. I am with you. Be strong and of great courage, and I will overwhelm you with good things and mercy. My grace is ever upon you, and my favor eternally upon you. Believe it, and you will see your troubles turned into blessings, your sorrow into gladness, and your tears into laughter. I am always thinking of you, and at this moment my thoughts are with you. Trust in me alone. Lay all your cares at my feet, and I will direct you in the path of prosperity and welfare. I want to give you that beautiful life, the promised one. Be certain that I am not going to leave you. My hand will grasp yours firmly. Your family is before my eyes, too. Keep praying because the time for miracles is now. Don't agonize about what you don't have today. I will abundantly supply and fill your life with wealth. Be thankful for what you receive and patiently wait for my reply. Entering into my presence, day by day, you shall find rest. This rest will follow you throughout the day and on your way home empower you. When you come home, remember to thank me watching over you. Pray over your meals and take some time to speak with me. This is for your good. I am not interested in burdening you. I seek to make your yoke light. As you speak with me, I take your burdens, shatter the chains, and break the shackles which hold your thoughts captive. I displace your fears and worries with the weight of my glory. Your emotions will quiet down, and all storms will blow over. Just the fact that you are in my presence is your spiritual victory. A few moments in my presence every day can change you. I am the one who is going to drain anxiety, anger, fear, every imaginary danger that has robbed you of peace, the nightmares that have burdened your nights. I will take these from you. It's time for you to be set free. I'm going to shatter the unseen chains that now bind you. Stop making mistakes over and over again. Turn your backs on those lying words that rob and ruin. Today, I break all evil chains that bind you. The blood I poured out on the cross has wiped out your past, smashed your chains, and set the scene for a life of victory. Tell me with all of your heart that you believe in these truths. My desire is that your well-being and prosperity increase, as also that your joy be without limit. But I long for you to be strong in your spiritual journey, and for there to be unity and love within your home, a home filled with harmony and peace. Trust me, for I am ever faithful. In your trust find strength to overcome anything. Today, my love and my promises, I assure you, are ever potent, preparing you for a life adorned with grace and blessing. Much has been your trials, and much has been your standing. Hence, wise, you stand like a tree that has grown its roots deep, stretching out and bearing fruits. I have nurtured you for the blessings that are soon to arrive. I have given you a spirit of love and self-control with which to handle your emotions. Forget not, I love you more than you can ever imagine. Yet my love is not imperfect or conditional as yours may be. I enfold you in the holy, perfect love of God. It is in me alone that your soul will be satisfied and your heart at peace. Take my hand in the morning, throughout the day as needful, and when you are weary. Talk to me, I am always listening. Share with me your needs, express your dependence, and in talking with me, you will find a peace such as the world cannot give. When you are thankful to me and gentling warmth will envelop your soul. If cares oppress you, if sorrow or discouragement casts a shadow over your days, then come at once to me. I will give you the rest you desire. I am not only your God, but I am also your best friend. 
Just listen to my words when we are alone, and they shall comfort and make you strong. Together we shall win out in the end, for with my love you cannot lose. Tell me of your love. Declare your allegiance to me, just as you know that you can always count on me. This time you won't fail, and if you slip, I'll pick you up. Be encouraged. The journey is not over. I am going to use you to bless all those around you. Don't forget my great love for you and everything that is done on your behalf as you follow my will. Keep pressing on, for I am with you always. Right now, at this very moment, I send my angels to encamp around you, protecting you from every danger. When you pray, my hand shall be your embracing, and my wings shall be your covering. You are safe in my presence. I'll strengthen your heart, filling you with boldness for your triumphs. Do not be afraid of the blackness of the night. I am your light on the pathway and your sure rock in every storm. You know my words are true. Say that you believe. You are inestimable, of great value in my eyes. I love you more than anything. In you, I have deposited seeds of conquest. All you need do is wear your armor of faith and boldly reap your fruits. Be assured, I will always be with you. Amen. Share this video with up to two people, if you need God's presence. My dear, know that you are much loved than you can ever imagine. I love you with no bounds, no ends every way around, through, and within you. Yes, I love you. This is a genuine gift, a gift given graciously. I love you not for what you do and I do not hold my love from you for what you do wrong. I am here always and ever at all times under all circumstances, loving you for what you are, exactly, unconditionally. Now I want you to turn around and do the same toward others. When you behold someone, look through my eyes at that individual as a wondrous creation worthy of love and compassion. When you gaze into strangers' eyes, remember that every one of them is carrying burdens and dreams. They, too, want to be noticed, valued, accepted. Be kind to the hurting, an ear to the lonely, a hand to the beggar, and a word to those despairing. This path of love isn't always easy. There will be those who reject your kindness and who take advantage of your generosity at times. In those moments, don't let your heart grow hard. Fall into my strength and let my love flow through you, for it is in giving that you will receive. Yes, dearest soul, you shall be a conqueror in the end. The world does seem so dark, yet your love can spread out, like ripples on the surface of the water, in ways that you may never know. No act of love is ever wasted. Remember, I am always near you. When doubt is in your mind and some of your faith fails, then come to me. Unburden your heart to me, let my peace calm you, and trust my plan for you, even when the way forward's dim. I made you, and I know what I'm doing. So take the first step in trust. I will show you the way. Not every step will be easy, but you will never be alone. Though I've taken you through deep valleys, trust that I am working it all together for your good. You think this is a setback, failure, but it shapes you in and into a purpose far more extraordinary than what you see right now in your life. Trust my timing and my ways. They are higher than yours. If somebody else hurts or lets you down, then I want to invite you to forgive. I have been hurt, I have been rejected, and I offer you forgiveness without cost. If you do so, you will not only free all those who have hurt you but also free yourself from it, because resentment binds with it far more energy from you than any forgiveness ever could. Forgive yourself. You deserve that your pains and shame be washed away. I offer it to you, wash with it. You are not worthless because of what you've done. You are worth whatever I give you on this road of love and forgiveness. But remember, Awe, there is a virtue that you should never let go, and that is humility. Humility isn't thinking low of yourself. It is not looking down on yourself. It means you're nothing but a gift. Use your gifts and all the other resources to serve others, not to glorify you. Find ways to exalt those around you. Rejoice with those who rejoice. When you are wrong, confess. When you are asked, forgive. In a world that often says, take care of yourself, may you say, I'll take care of you. Such acts of service, sometimes rendered to someone you don't know, can light up the world literally in ways that are never known. When you serve others, you reflect my love and shine in dark places. 
I have made you for a reason. Your life is not a random or accidental event. It is a part of the plan. As you are searching for me, I will make you aware of the calling on your life. It might not be the world's definition of success, yet you'll gladly know it gives you satisfaction and delight. Listen to my still small voice that instructs you. Just listen for the passions and burdens I have put on your heart. Often there you will find clues about your calling. I will open a door and make a way where there seems to be no way when you go out in faith and chase your calling. Remember that your purpose is not just about successfully reaching out but about touching lives around you. How might your gifts be used to bring hope, healing, and love into the lives of others? In living out this purpose in light of my will, you become an agent of my providence. In all these things, loving others, believing, forgiving, walking in humility, and pursuing purpose, know that you do not walk alone. I am encouraging you. I am filling you with my spirit. I am your strength when you are weak, and I give you wisdom when you have no understanding. Take heart, dear one. The road's going to be rough at times, but press on in love and faith. You are worth something, and you are worth more than you know. Keep shining my light in the darkness, easing the pain of others, and giving hope to those hopeless. As you go through your day today, I want you to remember that I do love you. Take that love in and let it overflow everywhere. Loving others, you are a part of something bigger than yourself, for it is contained within the greater story of redemption and grace. Let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. You who sow with the tears of kindness, seeking no reward, shall reap in season a harvest of blessings you cannot count or understand. Trust in this sowing that you cannot understand or measure. I see your heart, child. I see your longing to love well and to live a life that matters. And I am pleased with you, working in you. You are my child, and nothing, nothing can separate you from my love. Come to me again and again as you walk this path. In the silence of your praying and meditation, I will refresh you by my spirit, and I will infuse you with my peace. Be assured, my love shall be your beachhead upon which to build your life. On that foothold you shall withstand any tide. Your acts of love and compassion are more effective than you know. Every time you choose love over indifference, forgiveness over resentment, and humility over pride, you work with me to bring my kingdom on earth. Don't ever think that your life lived in love doesn't make a difference. There will be times when loving others is just too hard, your faith feels like it's fading, and forgiveness seems impossible. Rest in my grace. And in those moments, my grace is sufficient for you. Nay, my power comes to the surface in weakness. Be the love for others from you when you can't do it yourself. Remember, dearest, that you're in process. All growth and all change are slow. Patience, celebrate small victories, and recover from setbacks. Choose love again each new day, to be faithful, to forgive, to walk humbly, and to live your calling. As you take my heart into yours, so you are changed. And the more that you abide in my love, the more your love will just naturally pour out of you into the lives of other people. In this way, your whole life gives a light to the world, a portrait of sacrificial love and faith. Go, but do not be afraid. I am with you all days, even to the end of time. You are in the world to be light. Let your light shine and let it quench the darkness. You are precious and needed. Live well, love much, and trust always in my love for you, my dearest one. You are so loved beyond anything you could ever imagine. Hold that in your consciousness whenever doubt may arise. Hold this consciousness as you journey through life. May it be your anchor, compass, and strength. Upon that foundation of divine love, in every moment, encounter, and decision, let your love pour forth to others in every moment, in every encounter, and in every decision. Choose love. Let it show in your words, in your actions, in your essence. Thus, you mirror my heart to a world in need of more compassion and grace. Peace be upon you, abiding in the knowing that my love outward flows through you and underpins each step you take. Worthy is the path that you walk, the love that you give, and faith you pray. Continue in hope, 
for the best is yet to come. Hear me, my beloved, and listen to my words. I speak to you of justice and mercy, of walking in my ways, of truth and fasting, of life and eternity. I speak these things because they are true, for I am truth, and all who believe in me shall live forever. Be thankful, my child. Every day you can appreciate the breaths that come your way, the sun's warmth, your food, and your family, for there are many things for which one can see the bright side in a situation, no matter how trying. Cultivate gratitude, and you will grow close to me. You will start to view the world as I would. Think of how I have kept you at the cost of adversity, how I have been your bread and your comfort in distress. Let these thoughts rouse thanksgiving in your heart. My ways are for your good always, only that oftentimes you see not how. Trust in my love and give thanks in all things. I am calling you to walk in obedience and in discipline. My commandments are not burdensome. They are given to guide you toward life. And though this way may be difficult, it is invaluable. Do not fall prey to worldly temptations, but give yourself to me whole. May my word shine on your path. Read it, meditate upon it, and let your mind be transformed by it, that your character may be framed by it. If you act upon my word, you will build your life on a solid place. When the rains of life fall, and they will, then you will stand firm, living on truth. Be careful to live a godly life. Spend a few moments with me every day. Be careful with your thoughts, words, and actions. Make my glory your goal. As you grow in obedience and self-control, you are going to mature, and your life shall bear abundant fruits. I call you to righteousness, justice. Let integrity be the bedrock of your life. Be faithful to your commitments, even at great cost. Appeal for the oppressed, uphold the righteous, and defend the innocent. Be merciful to those who wrong you, forgive those who offend you. And by doing so, you reflect my image unto the world. Be firm, not swayed by the tides of change. Let me pour through you the changeless truth. Do justice to all, no matter the rank. All bear my image and are prized by me. Sound out when you witness evil. Speak for the downtrodden when you find them. Act towards the hungry, the thirsty, the sick, and the captive. Use the gifts and resources I've given you to pursue justice. By doing so, you are participating in bringing my kingdom into being here on earth. Come to me in prayer, my child. Pour out your heart to me, your joys, sorrows, hopes, fears. Be still and listen for my voice in the stillness. Prayer is about relationship, about conforming your will to mine. As you spend time with me, you will be transformed and you will begin to desire the things that I desire, and you will look at things as I look at them. Love me wholeheartedly. Let praise be the song of your life. Sing to me. Bring forth beauty for my glory. I am pleased when I see my children rejoicing in me, for in this way, you fulfill your reason for being. Remember, earthly life is very short, and it is to heaven you are bound forever. Set your heart above. I have a place for you that is fully peaceful, full of joy, and fellowshipping with me beyond what you can ever feel. Now this eternal life is realized through faith. I am the way and the truth and the life. Do not just live in order to heave up earthly treasures, for then they are temporary and vulnerable. Instead, store up treasures in heaven. Invest in love, in kindness, in spreading the good news of salvation. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Live each day with eternity in mind. Have the hope of heaven sustain you through hardships. Have the promise of resurrection give you courage in the face of death. This world is not your permanent home. You are just passing through. When in gratitude you appreciate me by my gifts, when you walk in my ways, seek justice and pray to me, concentrating on life to come, then you will live the way I've promised, more and more like my character loving others like I have loved you. Take courage, my child. Be strong and persistent in doing right. You shall reap if you don't faint in your works. Trust in the good news of my love. No matter what may come, my love toward you is limitless, overflowing. I am there each day, 
guiding your ways, protecting you. Rest assured, you are loved, valued, and secure in me. Nothing can come in between my love and you, not hardship, persecution, danger, or even death itself. My love to you is higher than the heavens, deeper than the oceans, wider than the universe. Therefore, live in love with purpose. Let your light shine before others, so that they may see your good works and glorify me. You are the salt of the earth, you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Let your light shine. For I know the plans I have in mind for you, plans for welfare, not for evil, to give you a future with hope. I formed you, I called you out of darkness into my marvelous light. Go. Being conscious that I am with you every step of the way, I am closer than your next breath, closer than your thoughts are to yourself. Seek guidance, lean on my strength. Without me, you can do nothing, but with me, all things are possible. In falling, and indeed you shall, for this is the human course. Despair not. My grace is sufficient for you, my strength is made perfect in weakness. Come confess your sins to me, be forgiven, and rise again. The righteous man falls seven times and rises again. I am at work in you, enabling you to will and to work what my good pleasure is. My goal is to share my glory with you, to make you whole in spirit, soul, and body. I have begun this good work in you, and I will bring it to completion. The promise is not that life on earth will be easy, but that you will have the strength to endure hardship. I have called you by name, you are mine. When you pass through waters, I will be with you. When you go through rivers, they shall not overwhelm you. When you walk through fire, you shall not be burned. For I am the Lord your God, your Savior. Be strong and of good courage. Let my words become part of you. Let them be as the dew unto thy soul, for they be full of spiritual life. Drink them in and live. These words are living water. Drink them in. Let them restore your faith, strengthen your love, and fill you with hope. Meditate on these things by day and night, that by them thine inmost parts may be enlightened, enlivened, and set aglow. Doubt, go in peace, rejoicing, and walk in the light of my glory. May blessing rest on you, grace and mercy be upon you all the days of your life. You shall be a dwelling place of my glory forever, my child, my beloved. I whisper this now in the quiet to your heart a word of gladness, a prayer of celebration. You might have borne burdens not meant for you. You might have known sorrow not meant for you. You could have joy now. This is your gladness, my child. Look at the world I've made, the trees that stretch to the sky, the flowers, the birds singing morning songs. All creation is rejoicing in life, and you are part of that rejoicing. When you look around and see, when you notice, you join the joy. I didn't create the world to be a place of work and pain. So, though there may be many pains, they are not all there is. In the world are things of delight, too. These are my gifts to you, freely given for your enjoyment. Make them yours and be glad. Joy is not something you need to make or bring about. It inevitably arises when you put yourself in the stream of my will. As you go through the day, ask me to walk with you. Notice the little murmurings I post in your path, something lovely unexpectedly encountered, an issue cleared up. These are not chance occurrences. There doesn't have to be only special moments to celebrate. There are reasons to celebrate daily. Did you wake up this morning? That's a reason to celebrate. Do you eat, drink water? Many don't. Is anyone being kind to you? Acknowledge the gift. Learn to celebrate and you'll be on the lookout for one thing after another to celebrate. Learn to attend to the after-effects of your choices. Make the world a bit kinder and a bit more considerate. Consume a bit less, waste a bit less, and start seeing what a difference your actions can actually make in the lives of other people and the world around you. Note that you are part of everything that is. It is in such small acts of love that the big impact falls. The air you breathe, the water you drink, the food you eat, all of that came from the earth that I have created. Taking care of creation is taking care of yourself and your after generations. That is being a good, wise steward and compassionate caretaker. I dare you to make strides through the inevitable crookedness and difficulty of life to find wisdom 
and apply it, growing discerning. There is much to hear and observe, and not all that is is truth, nor will it lead to life. Wisely be able to discern mere information from true wisdom. Knowledge may bring pride, but wisdom edifies and strengthens. I am the fount of all knowledge, honor me, for I am your Father in heaven. Begin with respect. Bring modesty to your discussions. Know your own ignorance. Hear more and talk less. Further, be cautious in judgment. Where there are major decisions, bring your difficulties to me, and the path will be made clear if you listen. It is a love of wisdom, not knowledge, that is manifest in and by the wise person through character and action. Wise persons are patient, kind, and self-controlled beings. They live according to reasons, considering the needs of other people and how these actions will affect them in the future. They estimate how their choices will affect the future, not just the present. They are not moved by transitory feelings or changing tides of general opinions, but are firm in their right and true ways. Discernment is the ability to judge well, to tell the difference between truth and falsehood, and excellence and evil. It is something that must be developed and is honed by learning how to look beyond the outward appearances of something. It is questioning assumptions, including your own, and asking advice from those who are known to be discerning people. Bring all thy decisions unto me, at all times and for guidance. Be one who brings reconciliation into this broken, divided world. There is no peace unless people are in the right relationship with one another. The right relationship starts with me, then with yourself, and goes to your neighbor. The peace starts when you forgive. Be to others as you have been to self. Forgive. Forgiveness is not to excuse a wrongful act or ignore the hurt. It is the giving up of any claim to vengeance or punishment regarding an affront, and the continuing to regard the other person with compassion. Forgiveness breaks the cycle of vengeance and leaves you free to reconcile with the other. So then, my beloved brethren, let everyone be quick to hear, slow to speak. Do not read too much into people's actions. Do not judge others as readily as you judge yourself. Much of where conflicts arise is due to misunderstanding and assumption. Therefore be slow to speak and slow to judge. Listen, especially to those who do not agree with you. Find common ground and common values. Do this in talking to those you find so objectionable, not defensively but with an open heart. You may be surprised that they are not so much unlike you after all. Humble yourselves, remit the debt of your wrongs, for pride goes before disgrace and a haughty spirit before a fall. Make peace and be reconciled to your offending brother or sister by humbling yourself. Many times this means being willing to say that they were right and you were wrong. Do this in all seriousness, with a broken heart and repentant spirit, pleading for my forgiveness, and you will have peace again. But peace isn't passive. Peace is active, and sometimes even confrontational. Speak the truth in love, act against injustice and the humiliation of people, and act toward people justly and with dignity, so that my kingdom of peace may come to be on earth. Walk in the way of service and generosity, in blessing you. I blessed you in order to be a blessing to others. Keep your eyes open. Opportunities to assist where there are needs, to lighten loads, to lift up in word and deed, a listening ear, a kind deed, a gesture of service, it can make all the difference in the day, in the life. Give freely, generously, gladly. Don't give out of a sense of duty because you have to, or because others expect it of you. Give because it is right to give, because you are generous, because you enjoy giving. Be like me the Supreme Giver. You are also making yourself open to receiving more fully, for it is in giving that you do receive. Keep in mind that everyone brings a gift. Do not despise the poor because they appear to bring nothing in material terms. They bring also wisdom and faith and love. Graciously receive the gifts of others so that they, in turn, are blessed in their giving and the community is bound together in mutual care. True service is all about the small acts and daily kindnesses. It is the care for home and neighbor, close and distant. It is the sharing of bread with the hungry, caring for a sick loved one, and teaching. Do not take heed to an evil joke, because everything else has an outstretched arm to it beyond one's sight. 
Take good care of yourself when taking care of others. An empty cup can't pour. An empty cup can't be filled. So, when you are serving your neighbors or your loved ones, then by all means, take time to rest and to fill yourself in all ways, physical, emotional, spiritual. Don't end up giving, living until your cup is empty. That's not being selfish. That's not going to damage your life of service and generosity. Child, I have made you for joy and for purpose. Rejoice in all that rejoices with you, and sorrow in all that sorrows with you. Take care of earth, my creation, by watchfulness and respect. Work for peace within your heart and in the hearts of your sisters and brothers. Serve the least among you with gladness. In serving the least, you serve me. Remember, every time you fall, I am there to catch you. I am with you in your rejoicing. So, trust me with unwavering confidence in my steadfast love and rest in my plans for you, for they are good plans, not to curse but to give you a future and hope. Put every effort you can into helping other people see that heaven is good. Go and make disciples of others, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. Go in peace and joy. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good works and give glory to me. You are my beloved child, in whom I delight. Accept each day as a gift. Cherish its grace to love, to grow, and to serve. When things go wrong, or tough times come your way, accept them as challenges to trust more and more in me, and to grow in stamina and character. Enjoy not just reaching where you want to go, but living as you go. Life is not a race to be won, but is to be lived. So, enjoy the love, the friends, and smiles that do appear along the way in your life's journey. You will laugh and be grateful. Peace shall reign within. You will be a person full of hope, light, a joyful person who sows the seeds of celebrating in times of trial, in times of little, and in times of tension. You will live as a person full of my love, for you will be full of my love. Join us to deepen your love for Jesus. Tap join for exclusive teachings and fellowship. Let's grow together in faith and grace. Remember, then, that joy isn't defined by circumstance, but rather flows from deep assurance in my love and presence. And however unpredictable the storms may get, you can always anchor on me as your rock, your fortress, and your deliverer. I am an exhausting fountain of peace and joy as abided in me. So let joy overflow and translate into care for my creation. Open your eyes and see the world as I do, as my gift to be cherished and preserved. Consider the impact of daily decisions on what surrounds you. Live lightly on the land I have given you, and use what I have given you without waste. Remember, to care for the earth is to care for the least of these. The poor and weak bear the greatest suffering of the earth's sufferings. As long as you are protecting the waters, the air, and the fields, you protect all human life. Seek wisdom and understanding. Humble your heart to seek from others. Seek an understanding from your teachers and the ones opposing you. Do not refuse to learn from either, for wisdom is in no single place. Search it out. Do not be turned aside by every new teaching, nor wandered astray by every new trend, but measure all things against my eternal word. So look in your heart and mind and ask yourself if you are doing the things that please me. Live in the Spirit, and you will never gratify the flesh. Fruit like this, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control will increasingly characterize your life. When you find yourself at odds with others, remember that your first loyalty is to me, not some human theory or cause. Seek first to be understood, then to understand in all of your interaction with others. Find common ground and shared values with them on all things, particularly the most important ones. Speak truth in love, give no foothold to the enemy. Stand firm in my truth, yet hold no grudge toward those who see differently. See that everything be done in love. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it does not boast, it is not proud, it does not act unbecomingly, it seeks not its own, it is not provoked, it takes no account of evil, love rejoices not in iniquity, but rejoices with the truth, bears all things, believes all things, hopes all things, endures all things. Today, my child, 
I have called you to live with a sense of meaning and purpose. May your heart be rooted in the joy of each new day for its sake, and may you treat the earth and all its beings with care. Treasure the wisdom to live it out in service to the blessing of all around you wherever you go. May you labor for love and exercise reconciliation. May you give graciously, may you love abundantly. Be assured that I am always with you, rejoicing at your side in your joys and mourning with you in your sorrows, just as I am in all of the activities of your daily routine. For I am present in your heart, even as you are present in mine. Fear not, have confidence in my presence, keeping your soul tranquil, since I am yours and you are mine, now and always, throughout eternity. My dear child, there are tribulations in life. Trials and tribulations will be many, in life, it is not always a smooth road, and it frequently weighs upon you. Often, the weight is just too much for your vessel to bear. But take heart, in those very times of your suffering, the opportunity is given to become stronger and to build resilience that will carry you through the most difficult of times. Remember, the trial is serving a purpose, and that purpose is not of loss but of forging the steel of character and trust. So before you give up, Come to me and pour out your soul. I will listen and comfort you when you are weary, teaching you the way you should go. You must have perseverance, my child. Persevere, when one presses on toward the goal, not stopping, even when the way forward is not clear. In perseverance you will find a strength that is not yours, but that flows into you through my love and grace. Stand by truth and goodness where life offers you challenges. The honorable roots of this light are the fundamental source of a good life. Whereas the road of deceit and self-interest may be an easy one, it is quite distinct from the road of truth. It is much harder. Let light guide you in integrity. Truly, it does not come easy. The path of truth and honesty might be hard to go through, and it may exact a cost from you. But my child, remember that having a clear conscience and a spotless name will take you even farther than any short-term cheating at which you might succeed. Treat others with truth in all of your dealings, business, relationships, and any other encounter. Speak the truth in love, even when it hurts. Let your integrity be your peace, and it shall be yours. Others will begin to walk more honestly because of you. On this path of honesty and perseverance, do not forget to grab a community and fellowship along the way. You weren't made to walk this walk alone. Assemble around you those of your faith and value system people who will be there to support you when the chips are down, as well as those with whom you can share all the fun times. Surround yourself with like-minded folk who will stimulate you spiritually. Then you can grow together in brotherhood. Be grieved with people who are grieved. Rejoice with those who rejoice. Pray with those who pray. Then, bear one another's burdens. The harder you press into each command, the more clearly you will experience my love. Just remember that my body of believers has different members, and each one is equipped with various gifts given to believers by my spirit to be used for the benefit of others. Delight in this diversity, and rejoice in the beauty of my creation. Pay attention and learn from one another, encourage one another, and together manifest my love to the world. Through trials of life and weight of faith, forget not to be happy. Truly, laughter is one of the gifts of love, balm for your tears, relief for burdens, reason to smile in shadow and sun, shade and night. Embrace life with love and joy in the small things, in the love, in the light. You're not shallow if you live with joy. Your faith is actually deeper because you rejoice in me, the one who gives you that joy and peace. Laugh, for the reason that you can confront the enemy with bravery. Share that joy, smile and laugh. Let them know around you that you care, that there's goodness in the world, and that life has its moments of reward, even if fleeting. Hence, you are my love incarnated, some inkling of heaven brought down upon the earth. But always keep hope, because it is an anchor to the soul, and keeps one in security of one's purpose. No matter how bad the storms may be or how troubled your soul may grow, you have a promise that all things can and will be made new again by my hand. Yes, when darkness falls on your soul, remember that with every night a new day is born, and the sun rises anew each morning, its rays illuminating the earth and warming the waters. 
so also my love rises up in thee and renews thee continually. Believe thou canst be made new. Nothing is beyond my ability to redeem and renew the sins of thy past, the woes of thy present, thy fears concerning the future. I can redeem them all by my love. Trust thou in me, that I will renew thee and give thee hope for the future. My child, I walk with you in the world. May you never forget that I am there. I stand with you in pain. Cheer on with you as you persevere. Cherish you as you remain true. Don't let the disappointment that you feel make you give up on me. Trust my timing. Trust that I'm working to make everything in your life work out for your best good, even when you can't see or understand what is that higher purpose. Amen. My child, do not be led by your fear because you are already more blessed than you have ever thought you could be. Soon, the trials which weight your soul down shall disappear like mist under the morning sun. I promise you, my words shall be very sure. For I am with you always and always near to guide you, protect you, and love you with all my limitless love. As the sun breaks forth from behind the clouds after a storm, so shall my light blaze before you leading you to a haven where rest and tranquility may embrace you. You may depend upon the infinity of my love and might to subdue any tempests that come upon you. I am always there, comforting, enhancing, strengthening your soul. I know thy lapses and thy stumblings. Therefore now dry thine eyes, and with a strong heart come unto me. No matter where you are, close your eyes and call to me, and I will be right there. Even if it is a desperate plea, or if you whisper it gently, know that I am there to listen. Marvels evolve once faith is ignited. Delve into my word, embrace the sacred promise I have made. If you trust in me and fill your heart with my teaching, then you shall see miracles come about because of your faith and prayers. Do not fear, do not lose heart. Seek, and it shall be given you. Lay your hands on the sick, and I will cure them. Repel the storms of life, financial pressures, and conflicts. Drive from your house strife and enmity. Speak my word with reverence and unwavering faith. Remember, with me, no miracle is beyond reach. I long to bless you bountifully, to enrich your mind with a deeper understanding of my teaching and to thrill your heart with courage. Do not fear men's threats. In their families they prowl about seeking whom they may destroy wandering singly before they have found the lonely soul without God in the world. Yet you and the ones you love are to be watchmen, lift up your hands to worship, invoke the name of my holiness to prayer. Then, as I hear by faithful cries, your enemies are to turn back and flee. Tomorrow then, with a renewed spirit, refresh thoughts which are stale, rebuff every kind of evil, and dedicate yourselves wholly to seeking me whatever happens. My child, though many times in the past I have failed, I tell thee, there is eternal hope for you and thy family. Everyone can change, and I know there are times when your spirit grows weary, and others may drift from their faith. But remember, I am always here to forgive you, purify your heart and soul, and give you strength against the wiles of this world. Stumble, and I will be here to help you up, to greet your return with a heart inclined to repentance and change. My arms are always spread in anticipation. I understand humanity's struggles, how hard it is in this world that can tarnish even the best of intentions, the grime and mire of life stain, but remember who I am. Hear it from me, I am your loving father, your companion always there in things pertaining to fault, sin, and forgiveness. Consider me to be your advocate, your defense attorney. How fortunate you are in this divine court of law. You have already won your case. You do have an advocate who is forever loyal and a judge, myself, who loves you unconditionally, who sees beyond your failures. You are robed in the grace that I won for you on the cross. Today, receive my forgiveness, my blessing, let your past go. You need not mourn those souls who caused you pain, nor are you to hold on to what was once mistaken for love, but it has led you astray. Let go of these painful memories today. When you wake up tomorrow, let thankfulness for your life, family, and the new mercies I'm showing you each day turn your mind away from negative thoughts. 
I am lifting you into a spiritual plane wherein problems dissolve. So, when you shut your eyes to call on me, I set you free, thus strengthening your spirit and preparing it for the new open doors ahead. Great and magnificent blessings lie ahead for you and your families. But now, from deep within your heart, tell me that you believe it. Tell me today that you receive with open arms my love, my blessings. Let your faith be complete, and watch how your life transforms itself under the shelter of my care. I stretch out to you now, full of love and affection. Feel the weight of your cares disappear as you listen to my voice. Take a minute, step close to me, and rest in my arms. Tell me what your heart longs for. Show me where your peace is lost. You weren't built for this kind of load. I ache to have you enjoy the blessings in your life that I have arranged, to live fully and without despair. Trust deeply in my word, for I am not a liar and thus would want you to recognize my voice amidst the cacophony of other voices calling your name. I want more, a deep and in-depth relationship, one that is intimate and transparent. Before long, you will see the great work I intend to unfurl in your life. But this calls for you to seek me earnestly, to be found daily on your knees in prayer. Your moments with me are so precious, and in such times, I envelop you with peace, love. Now it is the time that you get to see things beyond your imagination. Open your eyes to the massive opportunities at your command. Look into the mirror and see more than what is reflecting off from it. See a warrior instead, blessed by my power, unassailable in will, decisive, triumphant. My dear, what are you waiting for? Stand up, stretch out your arms, and open toward abundance I am pouring into your life. Do not think in your heart that you are unworthy. I did not ask for perfection. I cleansed you, I forgave you with my sacrifice. Now hear me, receive my love and let go of your doubts. Trust in me without limitation. Don't let your heart be troubled about the things you have committed to me. Let my love, my peace, my comfort, my forgiveness surround you. I'm in control. I'm helping you, making sure you are not overwhelmed, brought to shame. You do feel, at times, utterly overwhelmed, almost smothered, that your enemies are too strong. Yet, because you believe in my strength, you shall slay giants and win over any problem. Your future is filled with laughter. Only be strong in the midst of tests. And when it doesn't turn out your way, it's my plan. Shout in the view of battles and keep your peace in the middle of assaults. Fear nothing. Greater battles bring greater anointing, blessing, and grace. You are special. You have decided to trust, to hang on, and to be threatened by adversity without trembling. Well, in those moments, it was your faith that kept you going. So I multiply your blessings today, open wide, for the heavens will pour out peace, strength, and wisdom, hope that clings tenaciously to life. Go, go forward, for your joy will be complete as you see my promise accomplished and fulfilled in your life. Release your tears. Do not be restrained any longer. Your heart is full of waves, like turbulent feelings falling inside. I see the storms raging within your mind, and my heart feels the soul's exhaustion. You don't have to hide your feelings from me. You may speak freely. That touches my heart. Your tears are a very precious thing for me. When you cry in your pain, where words fail and you cannot say the turbulence that shakes your life, know that you move me deep. You cry when you feel that all your strength is spent. Towering barriers are to climb and they bring you to your knees in despairs. But it doesn't mean defeat. It's in these very moments you will realize that only with my guidance will you be able to overcome these challenges. Share this video with up to two people, if you need God's presence. Today marks the first day of your freedom. You will never again need to put up with humiliations or contempt if in your heart you believe that the King of Heaven came to suffer all pain and give it all to you. If you believe that I gave my life so that you may be free, really free, then take the courage I offer you this day. Feel my presence, for I am the one who will empower you with strength and courage to overcome these trials that torment you. Walk confidently, for from me you have peace and vigor. No one can take away your joy. I am here if you want to talk or express how you have been come into my arms for refuge. So, come, weep if you must.
for I'll receive you with an endless love. Seek me and find rest I give to you for free. Call out to me in the night and through the day in a posture of faith and hope. Come believing I am real, I will answer. For in this alone, I take pleasure, though it did not turn out like you hoped. Trust me completely once again. I am orchestrating blessings for your family and your home. But if you have lost material things, remember that your life is in my hands, and I am faithful to your well-being, growth, to your faith's steadfastness, and its strength. What you felt was lost shall be returned to you in a manner greater and more beautiful than you have ever thought. Do not worry about whatever you do not have at this moment. Learn to turn all your attention to loving me more, loving your family, doing my will, and having patience for all the blessings coming your way. Material possessions may come and go. Let not your heart be troubled. Nothing is ever lost. What was taken from you are, among so many other precious things from your past, will return, better and more beautiful than ever. Today, I want you to give me your heart. Oh, how I long to give you the peace your soul so desires. But you must find rest for yourself, both physically and spiritually. Lay down those burdens and thoughts that rob you of sleep, and just trust in me. Your future is secure. I can hear your nightly cries, your questions of how to get through this crisis. Today I am responding. You will go forward with faith that has been elevated incredibly. You trust in our unity. Your faith in my promises enables you to walk upon the waters of uncertainty and perceive miracles in your life. Do not be turned to and for by fear. Arise every morning with courage and strength, since you are brave. You just need faith. Today I present you with a shining sword, that is my word, in which you have confidently leaned on so much. Fight with it when you are faced with perilous occasions. Remember, I am always near you and fight for you. My love enfolds you, my peace overshields you, and the arms that are around you are mine in an eternal embrace. Receive the deepest love, I am showing myself now. I have heard your silent prayers, these hopeless thoughts of yours that rise upward to me and form a whisper of hope. Here, in my presence, I have collected them, my spirit has heard. No word from you was ever unheard, even when you felt your prayers barely left your lips. I am here to let you know, I exist. I heard you, and I will respond. The things that weigh on both our hearts, be assured, will be brought to an end, as everything shifts in your favor. It is already done. Today, come to me again with all of your trust. Yesterday we talked. Well, life goes on, and we are always close. Never stop telling me what you feel. Don't pretend that you're okay if you feel far away, or that you have grown too old for dreams. Never drift away when times get good. Life is full of unexpected turns, and I want your faith to be strong no matter which way the road ahead takes you. I know that your love does not die, and even in joyful moments, your heart is longing for my presence. Dear child, joy will always elude you if you turn your back toward me. Your spirit shall feel the chill of loneliness, and a huge vacuum shall begin to fill your existence. And that is why I continue unabated, in search of you, every day, every minute. I keep knocking on the door of your heart and shall keep troubling your comfort forever, until you realize that no distance you create shall ever be able to withstand my pursuit. My grip shall never slacken, and my love for you is eternal. Today's words I share with you in great affection. Consider them a loving admonition. Let us keep our communion. Keep seeking me in prayer, and you will see how I enfold you with my love, care, and blessings. Unburden your heart with its angst. I am here to lift off the yoke of anxiety if only you give me a chance. Just stop your racing mind and noises. Let your heart be open and receptive to my words. Even those who love you may desert you, but I will never depart from you. Even when the enemy smites you behind your back, I am with you. When everyone else forsakes you, just know that I love and watch over you all the time. I am your father, your God, your friend. Now, how can you comprehend such a deep, so great, so soft love, beyond what one has ever thought? Mistakes might make you hard on yourself and unworthy of that kind of love. Punish not yourself with such thoughts that make you less worthy. Such thinking will drive you right to hell. 
I am here to take away the spiritual blindfolds off your eyes, to transform your heart to help you believe me. Come unto me, all yes weary and heavy laden soul. Draw near and take the peace for which you long. Let me give you rest. I don't want your days to be filled with tears or your mornings to wake up discouraged. My death and resurrection were given as a demonstration of love, offering to you the very joy of God that was intended to fill your heart. Today, I break for you chains that restricted your growth, destroying the bonds that prevented you from moving toward the blessed future I laid before you. Don't look back for advice from ones who once imprisoned you. This, a choice to love and follow after me, only you can make. I, in contrast to your enemies who would like to see you on your knees, am interested in your peace and welfare. Come and follow me into the fullness of life I offer. Take up your courage in both hands and, with good cheer, step into this new life I give you today. Your blessing is assured, and it won't be long until you see it. Believe what I say. Take it on board with faith and laughter. Forget your past mistakes. Don't be chained by them. Face your future. It stretches out before you. Remember, do not look back upon what has passed. And when you grow tired and weak, just lift your hand to me, your loving Father, and I'll take it and pull you through. I will turn your struggle into a blessing. Don't give up hope. Stop and read my healing words. Refuse to accept Satan's lying discouragement to keep you down. Look beyond what you see with your eyes. Walk by faith. Remember my promises to you. Declare them loud and clear, and when your foe hears your assurance, he will flee in terror at what he sees, that you're no longer the same but are resisting his attacks. He knows he can't win. Be among men who live your faith in every dimension of everyday life, work, plans, home. In my word you will find the direction to guide each choice you make. Yes, there are so many pressures that come against you in this world, but remember no pressure can crush you. I planted a spirit of power and duty within you. Your influence can bring eternal blessings and salvation to your family. The problems you see will disappear out of sight. Don't look for them, and they will be gone. Set your eyes on what is right, the good life, the strong family, what's productive, with blessings in its wake. You are chosen to be the proof of my supernatural power, to see great miracles in action. Lay your hands on the sick, and they shall get well. All dangers shall be surmounted, and nothing shall hurt you. Be bold. Meet life with the strength that my promise gives. If you are without a job, then take the courage to step out to get one. You will succeed. Take every chance, however small it may seem, because in your diligence, I will bless. Up, my child, let me see that sparkle in your eyes. You walk forward with confidence. Just one more step of faith, and discouraging obstacles will flee before you. Your enemies will fall before you. Mine was the victory. Yours is too. Your triumph is my glory. Your praises ensure that my blessing upon you shall not be restrained. Open your mouth in declaration, and with great expectancy await swift coming blessings. Share this video with up to two people. If you need God's presence, amen.